And as Taylor said, unfortunately, this verse has been used thousands of times against our church and against the Book of Mormon. Listen to verse 18, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the, peop- of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add, add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. People have used this verse to say, see, you're adding to the words of this book, so you're going to get the plagues of, of the book of Revelation because, because of the Book of Mormon or the Doctrine and Covenants or additional scripture. Or general conference. Or general conference. The irony is anyone who makes that claim has not really looked at what this verse is saying. They're assuming in making that statement that when he says that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, they're assuming that they're talking about, that John's talking about the Bible. As if, as Taylor said, all of these previous 65 books were written and John has the whole collection and he's writing the last part on the last leaf of the entire Bible. Do you realize that the Bible as we know it was not even put together until the fourth century? The book didn't exist. The only book John has at this point that he's referring to is his book that he's been commanded to write all along the way. And he's saying, don't add to or take away from the book of Revelation. That's the only one that he's got. And you'll also notice that the the qualifier there is, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues. And as Taylor mentioned, man is not supposed to change and alter these things, but God can. Now you'll notice if you look at verse 19, he goes on to say, if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. This is, I think, very significant because here we are on the the last come follow me of the New Testament year, which means that next week you begin your study of the Book of Mormon. I think it's significant that you look at how the Lord speaks about the Book of Mormon when he's dictating these words to Nephi to write them down. Notice these are the words of the Savior. Because my words shall hiss forth, many of the Gentiles shall say, a Bible? A Bible. We have already got a Bible and there cannot be any more Bible. Do you realize that the word Bible in English comes from the, this root, bibliothèque, which is the diminutive form of a library. It's literally a little library. The Bible is a little library of 66 books. Now think about what we're saying if we say to God, a Bible, a Bible, a little library, a little library. We've already got a little library. There can't be any more little libraries. What are we actually saying? We're saying to God, shh, stop talking. It's a library. We don't want any more words from you. We don't want any more direction because you've already given all the direction you're allowed to give. Yeah, we limit God. Brothers and sisters, our God is a God of expansiveness. He is not a provincial little be- little God up in heaven saying, nope, I've already given you everything I need. You're on your own now. Figure it out. He gives us prophets, seers, revelators. He gives us continuing revelation. He gives us personal revelation. He gives us his grace. He gives us forgiveness. He gives us hope. He gives us power. He gives us his love. And look how he ends this this book. He which testifieth these things saith, surely I come quickly, amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, 